Good morning. It is Friday, which is my favorite, and we are in the middle of another winter storm warning. We got dumped on this week. We had about six inches is what they're saying a few days ago, about three inches yesterday, and today they're talking about 10 inches of snow with 50 mile an hour winds. And then right after the storm, the temperatures are supposed to plummet to below zero. This is the biggest storm by far, uh, but we're ready. I trained Tino and Big Ray yesterday, so they're gonna be a help. And then Eric and Francisco are always ready to go. So the storm just started. We have about an inch outside right now, but it's supposed to snow all day, all night tonight, and not supposed to finish until about 6 a.m. So I'll probably just kind of have shifts where I'll have Eric and Francisco plow for a while, then I'll come in and have the other guys help as well. So I do have a few shout outs this morning. The first one goes to Herbie from Battle Creek, Michigan. He's a concrete truck driver, but he runs a cool little small business on the side. I'll show you his information there, but he makes these little wax melts. And I guess, I don't know anything about these. I've never seen them before, but apparently there's a device that holds your candle and then you put this above the candle. They warm up and make your house smell beautiful. I'm sure my wife and daughters will love this stuff. Uh, thank you very much. And then from Grayson, he sent me out uh, some corn huskers lotion. I've never seen this stuff before, but he said he used to work in a shop and everybody used this stuff and it was the best for your hands. So my hands actually, uh, they've been pretty bad lately. I got some splits and so forth, but I appreciate that. And then from Billy Smith, uh, he sent me out a couple tire pressure gauges. He noticed that I really needed them, which I do. Uh, so thank you very much. All right, well, I'm going to go get this work clothes workout in. But first, I'm going to take this trash out, and then I will see you guys at the coffee shop. Come on, A. Don't be playing with me today. It's time to go to work. How much garbage do we make? That was a little slow there, Annie. Good work. It is not nice out here today. It is nasty. It is terrible weather, but some people will walk in anything, I guess. <laughs> Man, not me, not today. I'm here at the gym. The snow is going crazy. Snowed about an inch an hour right now. I just called Eric and I told him to come in at eight o'clock, 6.30 right now. Okay, I just got done with the work clothes workout. And it snowed about another inch while I was in there. This storm isn't gonna play games, I can tell you that. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess right now that we get 10 to 12 inches of snow. They're calling for six to 10. I think it's gonna be worse. I was looking at the radar and it is not pretty. Are you playing Angry Birds? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Morning, Lisa. Morning, how are you? Good. All the registers are closed. Okay. It's gonna say I'm out of luck today. I followed the plow truck from Westman all the way here. Yeah, that's the way to do it, follow the plow truck. See you later. Okay, I talked to Eric and he's coming in in just a little while. I'm gonna meet him over there and just show him what to do. This is gonna be one of those days where you just continually plow. What's up? What's up? Why you sound so tired? Oh, uh, okay. So you and Tino can come in. I'll let you know for sure, but around two or three o'clock and then Eric can leave. So that's the plan. So you won't be working until probably like two o'clock or, or maybe even a little later. Okay. But I'll text you and let you know for sure. Francisco and you are gonna come in together. He already knows that. Okay. All right, I'll text All you right. and let I'll text you and let you know what time for sure, but probably two o'clock. Okay, perfect. All right. She's picking me up as perfectly fine. Okay, okay. my friend, thank you very much. Yep, bye. I'm not sure if they called school off today. I hope they did. They called school off a few days ago for that other storm and and that other storm was was weak compared to this one i'm pretty sure this is going to be the biggest storm that we've had probably in a couple years two or three years at least mike's here what's up 
What's up? What's going on? Remember a couple days ago when I said that storm was weak? Yeah. This one's gonna make up for I it. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> this one's gonna be pretty bad. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just trying to stay on top of it as much as possible. If you need any more practice, the condos are right down the street. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have fun. I'm sure I'll see you the rest of the day and the rest of the night and tomorrow morning too. Sounds like it. <laughs> All right, see you later. Right, we'll see you later, Ryan. There's a good two to three inches on the ground. Yeah, between two and three inches, I would say. So it's pretty good timing. Um, Eric should be here soon. I'll have him start scraping right away. So after today's snow video, it's not supposed to snow anymore. So kind of like a, you know, this week was a snow week and I have a bunch of shop videos all ready to go. And I also have a few bonus concrete videos coming your way. So we got a bunch of stuff. World of Concrete's coming up. It's gonna be a pretty busy and fun winter, honestly. Eric just texted me, he is stuck. He is stuck in traffic on the freeway. I'm gonna get this thing started up, warm it up. Hopefully he'll be here real soon. Otherwise, I'm gonna get started myself. I got my sneakers on, so that's not the greatest, but that's okay. I'm gonna assume they canceled school today. I don't see anybody coming in the parking lot. I hope they did. I have a brand new GoPro. The last one I had kept shutting off and uh, there was like a little shimmy or a shake on the last video, which I didn't really like. So I had a new one at the house. So I got it on now. Hopefully this one will be better. Accidents. How many did you cause? Jump in the machine. You got to get over. You got to get that building right away. It's getting bad. So get the building and then do the condos. Do the road and all the driveways. Keep going around and around and around and around. It's just you. You're going to just continually plow until about three o'clock. And then I'm going to have uh, Francisco and Tino come in and then they'll take over. <laughs> Help to move this vehicle? <laughs> Why are you moving? I would just leave it there. I mean, if it was the only one in the line, it would help, but right now, who cares? Yeah. It doesn't look like you want to get the foot of snow off the top anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay, forget this. <laughs> yeah, I would just leave it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know what you're doing? Yep. All right. See the sidewalk soon? No, 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 just leave the sidewalks alone. It doesn't make no sense right now. Don't get stuck or anything. Oh. Thank you. All right. Oh, the gym? Huh? The gym? Oh, I was at the gym here. Oh you know I got my 15 minute work clothes workout in. I was like, lightweight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I had like the, I had the five pounders. I was like, ah, <laughs> people were looking at me in there. I was like, what? Two and a half. All right, I'm gonna go get the big truck. There's no way he's gonna be able to keep up with everything. I don't think so anyway. It's just snowing too hard right now. I don't know if you guys can see in front of me, but this is what you wanna drive behind if you're in a big snowstorm. Three deep plow trucks. They're, clear, they're clearing the entire road all in one shot, all three of them. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, did they cancel school today? Yeah. Oh, 
I figured. All right. Is Ryan? Is Ryan okay? Is he okay? I, I would assume. I saw his car parked in the parking lot. It was right in my way, trying to plow. Oh, okay. Because I think he got stuck to begin with. Oh. Somebody sent a picture to auto. But anyway, okay, good. Okay. All right. Is Daniel snow blowing already? Oh yeah. I figured. He's been out for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Yep. Bye bye. Man, the CEO is tearing it up today. Honestly, he is lucky. Two snow days in one week with a brand new snowblower. Man. So this is one of the few days out of the year where four-wheel drive is almost necessary. This is where you can get stuck real, real easy. There'll be, there'll be plenty of people stuck today. Came over here to the old yard. I'm gonna check on the old F-350 and see if it'll still run, or start, I should say. Started right up. That's good. All right, put it in four-wheel drive. Hopefully it goes in. We're gonna find out in a second. I haven't had this in four-wheel drive for a while. Yep, it's in. And I love this truck. I'm so glad it started. Okay, I gotta run over back by Eric and I forgot the guys are almost out of gas for the snow blower so I gotta grab that container and get some get them some gas all right over by Eric he's plowing 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 yeah there's gonna be mountains of snow all along everything by the time we're done Try not to put too much snow right here. I'm trying to put it more there, like around that tree. They don't, for some reason, they don't want snow right there. The radar is all dark blue, super heavy snow for a long time. It's gonna snow like this all day. You just gotta keep going, man. Well, I came here to get the gas container so I could get them gas and the gas container is gone. It was here yesterday, but it's not here anymore. Oh, come on, man. Uh-oh. The car can't make it through the snow drift. Oh, is he going to make it? Got it. All right. Just came over here to Bill's Power Center. I got to get a new gas can, I guess. I have no idea what happened to it. It just disappeared. Look at this thing. I'm sure this is good for some snow, but this one do nothing today. Hey. Yeah. I watch your stuff all the time. Well, thank you, man. Pay attention so you don't crash. What's up? Right with you, okay? Oh, I know what I'm getting already. All right. Well, that would go through it. Got a big old blower on it. I want 15 grand for this. Snowblower is another five grand. 48 inch snow plow, straight blade, the same price as a snowblower. That doesn't make sense. How's it going? Good. That's all I need. You guys selling plenty of snowblowers today, huh? Yeah, we can hope. Yeah. <laughs> Should be love you when we get here. Thank you. Nothing in December though. All right, All right there you go. Hopefully All right, thank you. Yeah, exactly. Have a good day. 
I showed this on the other video, but these gas cans are great, except for this stupid tab. This thing's got to go right away, so I break this tab off just like that. Much better now. Okay, I'm back with the gas. I just thought I'd check up on Eric again, see how he's doing. Same spot as when I left. <laughs> oh, I got clean all of these. Oh. But you didn't go across the street yet? No. Oh. Oh. Right, hurry up. Bro. I had to go get I don't know my gas can was gone. I had to go buy a new one. It's gone. So anyways, alright, we'll keep going. Alright, I stopped back at the church here. And what I plowed a little earlier is all covered up again. Junior style right here parked in the worst possible spot of the whole parking lot. Come on, Junior style. I should put a load of snow behind your car again. Come on. I'm going to go plow the nightmare driveway. The one that goes up the hill. A super long one. If it doesn't get plowed now, if it continues to stack up, we're just not going to be able to plow it. You'll have to come with a little tiny, tiny machine with the bucket. And that'll take forever. All right, let's see how the F-350 does in this stuff. So far, so good. This truck's digging in less than uh, Chevy did with the V-plow. It's plowing way better, actually. I gotta be careful up here, because this is this is where you can get your truck stuck because it's a steep drop off on my right side. You got to be really careful through here. I don't like coming up here with a truck, but. Ah, made it. All right, I'm just pulling up the Odyssey. It's like 11 o'clock. I'm gonna eat my lunch now a little bit early. I just got done with lunch and we have a lot of snow already. It's uh, probably about six inches so far and they were saying, now they're saying six to 12, but they were saying six to 10. And what I said this morning, I, I think we're gonna get a foot of snow. The, I looked at the radar and it is, we're not even to the middle of the storm yet and it is just hammering. Yeah, look at that. We just plowed that this morning, like eight o'clock. And there's a bunch more already. So it's kind of weird. I've been plowing and you know, my truck wouldn't start yesterday. And as I'm plowing, you can hear, see that it's like, it's like a little hiccup. It's like hesitating for just a second. Like there's some kind of short or electrical problem going on and I'm sure that all has to do with why it wouldn't start yesterday. I noticed that before it wouldn't start but I was like, ah, oh, it's probably nothing. But now I'm starting to notice it just a little bit more. After all these years, this truck is still a beast. This thing was built 23 years ago. And this is still an awesome truck, man. I love this truck. I'm gonna try to keep this truck as long as it survives. Even if the motor goes or something goes, I'm probably just gonna fix it. Because <laughs> the body and the chassis is so clean still. Even though I've been plowing and salting with this for years and years, it's still clean. This thing just pushes snow and it's so comfortable. The cab is huge, there's tons of leg room nice cushy seats to be honest i'd rather plow in here than the chevy i just bought i mean that truck's more capable obviously but this truck's more comfortable there's no doubt about that
Hey, I just plowed this parking lot. Can you not put that snow back on here? Oh, okay. Thank you. This one you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, <laughs> man. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you. <laughs> One thing I don't like about these straight blades, they just don't contain hardly any snow. Not great. Need little wings or something on there. You gotta push all this snow way back too, because there's a lot more coming. I'm sorry, man, I do not. We're struggling just to keep up with what we got. We're already way behind. Yeah, sorry about that, man. Uh, you have a lot of friends when it snows and you have a plow truck. <laughs> I've been telling people, no, even people that I know, got a lot of calls today and I just can't, you know. I'm busy doing my own stuff. I love to help everybody, but I can't. I have people calling me that I haven't talked to for years. Like, we're not even friends. They're like, hey, remember me? Uh, yeah, kind of. Hey, you think you could plow my driveway? Not today. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. There's a driveway that I have to do because I can't have him getting stuck. All right, that driveway is down. It's good enough for now. Once it stops snowing, when we do a final cleanup, we'll get everything perfect. I just drove around everywhere, including the gas station, and I can't find Eric anywhere. Eric's over here, I found him. I'm gonna jump in a little skid loader, and I'm gonna go down all the city sidewalks. There's no way Francisco's staying on the sidewalks right now. Everything is completely buried. You can't find anything. So I'm gonna clear them now, and then when he gets here, they'll be outlined pretty good. Yep, I'm confident now that this is going to be the biggest snowstorm that we've had in years. Can't see the sidewalks at all, but I've done these like, I don't know, about a million times. So I kind of know where they are. I can't see anything, as you can tell. Well, that's nice. Now I really can't see anything. I'm in the marsh. 
I thought if I came down there and I came around, I could get up that little bump, but... I mean, I'm all the way back into the marsh. It's not good. Right there is the creek. If I go back any farther, I'm done. And I'm really far off the road. Oh, I cannot believe I just did that. Oh, look at that thing. It's all it took. Whoops. That's all it took. I slid off the sidewalk right there. <sighs> wow. I'm going to need a whole bunch of chain or strap. I'm like, I'm like a hundred feet off the road. I'm almost the farthest point you can get away from the church. I felt it slide off to the side and then I was like, I'm pretty sure I can get it back on. And then I made that one little movement and then I felt the machine go and I knew it was over. I should have stopped when it was teetering. I should have just stopped, went and got the truck. Grabbed the chain real quick and, and yanked it back over. It was a stupid decision. Now I'm a hundred feet off the road. And I really need that machine. We got a foot of snow on the sidewalks. I could barely get through it with that thing. I mean, look at this. That's thick. And it's super heavy and wet. Not a good situation. So I'm going to go get the truck. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I need I need a hundred feet. I do, I gotta go find something. But the other guys are coming, and the machine is stuck. So, man, dumb, dumb, dumb. We'll get it out of there one way or the other because I need it. I'm getting there. I see the truck. You like the weather? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, at least I had my tennis shoes on, so it was a comfortable walk. I gotta go find Eric, tell him what's going on. A little frustrated. It's my fault. I felt it, and then I was like, I can get it. I'm glad it's daytime, though. That's the only benefit is I'll be able to get what I need to pull it out. And the help is here. Mike's around. And can't find Eric again. Oh no. Eric's stuck too. <sighs> well, he's got a chain. Where did he find a chain? <laughs> he ain't too stuck though. I'm really stuck. I am really stuck. Yeah, he's not even that stuck. Wait till he sees my machine. It'll come out. But I don't know where Eric is, so... I'm by your machine. Come over here. How are you going to get stuck for real, Eric? You got to be more careful, man. Right in the mud. Man. I'm like this, man. I never get stuck. Never. I slid right down the hill and then I was in the marsh and I was trying to get out and I just kept getting deeper and deeper. It's in deep now. I gotta go get a whole bunch of chain. It's like a hundred feet back. I got two chains. You got two? Yeah. So that's 40. So I need like 60 more feet. Do the other chains have hooks? Your other one? Just go in there, it'll come out. <laughs> I told Eric I would never get stuck. I'm way down in the marsh. Fine, 
dude, I know, and I see your truck here, I'm like... Hey, I just told that out of there with the step. Daryl Jr. said the step wasn't strong enough to even step on it. And we just pulled the machine out with it. It didn't even bend or break. <laughs> He's like, hey, that's not strong enough. I'm gonna go buy some okay. something. Just park this here, stick this out of the way. I'm gonna go buy some stuff to pull that out. I am on the freeway right now and uh, it's ugly. This semi ain't going anywhere. Nope. Nope. He was smart though. He started to spin. He knew he wasn't getting out. He stopped. Me, the big dummy, I just kept going until I was right in the middle of the marsh. Nearly 50 years, 48 years if my math is right. And this thing will be over. All right, shout out to braking equipment. I just stopped over here and they hooked me up with chain. The 20 foot chains will just hook a bunch together. They already got hooks on them. So that's perfect. The bad news is I was just looking at the radar. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It is not pretty right now. Not gonna stop anytime soon. It is just heavy snow for who knows how long. But my concern right now is getting that skid loader out because we absolutely have to have that skid loader. I don't think anybody would want to shovel a mile of city sidewalk with, you know, a foot plus of super heavy wet snow on it. The problem is with the city sidewalks is that the city plow trucks come right through the road and all the snow lands right on the city walk. So you get a massive pile of snow. I struggled all the way down the sidewalk and I got almost to the end. Where I got stuck, I'm almost to the end. You just gotta be creative where you put snow. Like you can put it on this side now, you can put it on the sides of the driveway, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta be creative. You can only push so much, because look at the city sidewalk now. You already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go down into the marsh on this one. This one. This <laughs> I'm gonna go get all hooked up, and then I'll come and get you. And then we're gonna try to tug it out. Okay. You go in there. Huh? I'll pull it. You're huh? Gonna, it's too scary in the ride. <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't go down there, but I just seen it, I'm like... You can't even see it. I can't even see it. That's why I turned right here. I'm yeah. Like, I have six change. I, I have 120 feet. That should be enough. I don't think we're more than 100 feet. Super steep right here. Right here. So once we get it to this point, we're going to have to be turned around backwards and try to pull it up backwards and then out. Because it's going to... There's no way it goes up forward. It's going to flip over. It's very steep right here. Should be a safe space right here. There's no hoses there. Oh man, that's 20 feet. I hope I got enough chain. Three chains. All right, chain number four. This one will get up the hill for sure. If one of my guys would have did this, I would have been really mad. I got all the chain hooked up. I'm gonna go get Eric now and uh, hope for the best. You guys doing good? What? Are you doing good? I'll get one more house over here. Is the snowblower working okay? Yeah. All right, good, good. All right, thank you. Oh, college kids are a blessing. 
I would be stressed right now without him. Come on, F-350. Let's do it. Oh my god, look at Mike. That thing's a beast. Is that thing strong? You want to pull me out with that? <laughs> I don't have much traction. I can't even do the sidewalks. Oh yeah. Oh, with the plow, not a chance. No, it's no, not happening. No. Well, look what I look what happened to me trying to do the sidewalk. Oh, that was you that did that. Yeah, I slid. Well, I, <laughs> I slid off the bank. I just went like this, just a little bit, yeah. and I was like, Psh, I got it. So I put the bucket down. I went like this to get out. I was like, Woo! Oh, no. and that was it. <laughs> So, yeah, we, I don't know how I'm gonna do the sidewalks so I guess a snowboard or something. You got a shovel? Yeah. <laughs> right there? Yeah. You got a shovel, Mike? You guys wanna help? Hey, I got, a, I got an extra shovel. <laughs> hey, Mike, just put heavy salt. <laughs> just put, salt and heavy. Put heavy salt, they don't melt okay. by like May. May yeah. <laughs> we didn't even try it. Oh no? No, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna pull it right out. Okay. It's not that stuck there. Like I can almost move. Oh, it's just getting but up there. I can only go backwards now and it's super wet right behind me. So yeah. I kept going and going. I was I kept thinking I could get it. I'll get it. I'll get yeah. it. I was going backwards, 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 and I ended up a hundred feet off the road stuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you usually go. Oh, you still got your gym shoes on. Well, I'm glad I did because I had to walk from there all the way back to church. So, <laughs> and then I go over to get him. He's off the side of the road, stuck. <laughs> Man, oh, Mike, can, you want to go in this truck and kind of get it on an angle? Yeah, kind of on an angle, and then we'll just see what happens. Eric, you want to go in the uh, ski down there? Not a chance. Come on, just go down there, Eric. All you gotta do is drive. I'm pretty sure it's gonna pop right out. Slip. Oh, I already fell down, Eric. Careful right there, dude. It's really slippery. I knocked the wind out of me almost. You ready? Hang on one second. He's not even started yet. You ready? Are you are you on? Okay, go ahead, Mike. Go ahead. Hold up, hold up. Eric, lift the bucket up. Lift the bucket up. Okay. He's got the bucket all the way down, jamming in the ground. Uh, uh, we should uh you we should trade going that way with it though well i think we can get it to the next chain now okay. we can get rid of a 20 footer 20 <laughs> foot at a time i don't want to back up and run you over oh it wouldn't be the worst thing right now mike <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably go that way now. Turn around. Whoa! You crazy, Mark? Okay. You went into a ditch. I did <laughs> crap. Your what? Transmission on my truck. Oh, well, it, I fixed it now. Yeah. The neutral safety switch took a on it, and I was stuck in third gear. I had no oh, reverse really? or anything. Oh man. Luckily, it's I fixed I, now. Yeah, I went that over to my friend's shop in Waukesha. Oh, so that's nice. good. That's good, Mike. Hold it. We got to spin this around. Oh, do this with the bucket. Hold it. Don't pinch my fingers off. Don't put your feet by the pedal at all. It's 
so packed with ice. <laughs> no, it is. It's so packed with ice, man. I can't even put my finger in there. Mike, I got a tool right here. Oh, yeah. I, sh I sharpened it, so. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. If Francisco did this, he'll be looking for a new job tomorrow. <laughs> so when you start going up, just put the bucket and put it like this. I'm so glad it's light out, man. Imagine yeah. doing this in, in the, the dark. dark. Oh. Oh, it sucks. Tip over sideways. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, he, was, he was so scared because it was tipping this way sideways. It feels bad. It feels like a roller. He's up on a camera and they're looking at the plates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. What? I'll have to. <sighs> Oh man, <laughs> I'll let you use the skid loader. You sure? Well, when we're done with it, yeah. Oh yeah, that's fine. We're gonna be here all night, all morning. Oh, it's gonna it's, all we're gonna be tomorrow. here for we're yeah. gonna be for here forever. Yeah. And then tomorrow's gonna get super cold. Yeah. So if we had to do that when it was ten below zero, woo! <laughs> Imagine that air. I'm glad we took it on. <sighs> That was really good exercise. <laughs> I went up and down the hill like ten times with the chains, Eric, and I went skiing once. <laughs> You'll see. All right, keep going, Eric. We'll All just, right. I'll just keep doing these sidewalks. Okay. Ah! Oh, where was it? Is it in the front seat? Yeah, it was on the uh, Okay, thank you. Were you looking at my private information, Eric? Tell me this. Did you look at my bank statement? No. Did you? No, you can't even know. Cause I see you smiling. I'm not smiling, man. I'm like covering all cover my mouth. Okay. Whoa, you guys look so dangerous in there. Twinkies, Francisco? <laughs> Are you for real? Nope, no puppy. That was not for him. Take that and go put the forty dollars in, and then do all this. I already did the sidewalks. Do them again right now. I didn't do the other side of the road. So when it comes to doing the other side of the road, when you get that far, call me and I'll come and do the other side of the road. I don't want you to get stuck and go into that mark. You're talking about the other side of the road, right? Yeah, the far side of the road. You'll see where I got and where I didn't. Just go back over what I already did, but don't do anything that's not done. Cause it's, it's really, really hard to get through the first time. And then Tino, uh, Eric's gonna be, just sit tight. Eric will be here in a little while. He's bringing the skid loader back. When he gets back, do the church here first. Okay. Plow the church here first and then get back in touch with me or I'll be around. Okay. Okay. We'll do. We just gotta keep doing rounds and keep doing yeah. rounds. Cool. Round, around, 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 like around. The bus. Around. Yeah. Yeah. The bus go around. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's waiting for me patiently. And he's got stuff to do. Sorry. I just told him what to do. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah, the help. No Whenever we get to it, I mean, you can use a skill order for your sidewalk. I, I really know, appreciate it. I'm going to try to get my snowboard because I blew the chain on it. The orange one? Yeah. The big one? Yeah, when I smashed my head into the windshield, it caught oh, a curb. Oh, it messed it up? Yeah, oh. it snapped, actually snapped the chain on it, so I was going to run the front of the plate here as soon as Man. I get one. Snow removal is easy oh, money. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not. Today it's not. Oh, he's got one of them cage plows. I've been meaning to try one of those. It's actually a company that's from Wisconsin, believe it or not. He's got a track machine. Should have brought another one of my track machines over here. 
Could have been helpful today. 14 inches, Mike said they changed the forecast. Nino's waiting, so you can take it back to him when you're done. Huh? Yeah, so when you're done, take it to him and he knows what to do already. And then be back here, 2 a.m. 2 a.m. front lot here it's got it's got all the snow on it from this morning nobody's plowed it yet look at Francisco stuck right in the middle of the parking lot <laughs> oh man you know the snow's getting deep when you can't even drive through it with the skid loader and those are good tires on there I'm teaching a college kid how to plow snow first time ever in a plow truck Look at that! He's doing good. He, he was, was walking, walking and I literally <laughs> said, you, you want to do this? this? And he's like, oh yeah! I was like, go ahead, jump in, man. It's all yours. Go ahead, back all the way up and take another pass. Okay. You're doing good, though. Real good. That's awesome. He's like all excited. He's never been in a truck like this before. And this is a safe area. Nobody's coming through here, obviously. He's got an angle the wrong way. That's okay. He's doing it. Man. You're doing good, man. I'm serious. For your first time ever plowing, you're doing good. You're a natural. Take a couple more passes and then I'll give you your certification and that's it, man. You passed. Okay, I'm getting the pole in around the pole. Whoa, no, stay away from the pole. All right. uh, you're getting a little overconfident now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more pass for you. And then you better get back to doing whatever you're supposed to be doing so you don't get any demerits. Go ahead, drive yourself back to wherever you need to be. And that's it. Your right. paycheck will be on Friday. Yep, yeah. This is too much fun to get paid. <laughs> it is really easy money. The truck does all the work. Yeah, I mean, right. is your thumb going to get sore? I don't think so. All these guys complaining, ooh, I got to stay up all these hours. Oh, big deal. Come on. All you're doing is twiddling your thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, good job. Yes, thank you. That was very, very good work. That was an experience for sure. Yeah. Now you can put that on your resume. Yeah, right. Professional plow <laughs> operator. All right, see you later. Yeah. Thank you. He had a big old smile on his face. Okay, Eric's done. Eric's out of here. Tino's in the skid loader. Tino's getting it done. All right, I've been working on the parking lot here and the snow is really thick. I'm gonna go see how Tino's doing and then I'm gonna plow that front parking lot that hasn't really been touched yet. Let's go see how Tino's doing. He's really not a bad operator. He pretty much knows what he's doing. He used to work at a salvage yard or something. So he had a chance to run a whole bunch of different types of equipment. Is it going good? It's going perfect. Getting the hang of it? Huh? Getting the hang of it? Yes, of course. Good. Oh, you're good? Yeah. Get that building there, you know, where we keep the shovels and salt and all that. That building, that parking lot. Right you finish here and the side here. And, and I'm going gonna, gonna to get the front. And then, I go that way. and then go over that way. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. All right. Tino's doing good. I'm going to go plow the front lot. That thing has a lot of snow on it. This old truck still gets it done. This thing is a beast. It's just a tank. Love this thing. It's got good tires on it all the way around. And it just, it just sticks, man. It just hooks up. Uh-oh, I might be stuck. I think I just got myself stuck. I'm gonna try to 
used to plow. What am I stuck on? Alright, I'm gonna get Tino. Man! The snow is like concrete. Plenty of chains. Chains for life. <laughs> yeah. Tino! Tino's right around the corner. Oh, Francisco's right here. Francisco's coming. Francisco's here! Come over here! I'm stuck! I think the plow frame is hung up on the curb. Hey, you know what's funny? What? I got stuck. No. Right I got stuck in the middle right now. I just got out right now. That's I what that's stuck. what took so long? I was stuck right. <laughs> oh. Go check. I was there for like at least 15 minutes, but I wasn't gonna call you. I was trying to get out myself. Alright, give it a little pull once while I'm while I'm backing up. I think I'm almost out. Got it. We might need these again. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need them chains again. I'm glad I bought them. Man. Definitely making some piles tonight, for sure. Front lot's done. That took a while, man. This front lot's never taken that long. Nine, ten. No. There's no end in sight. It's gonna snow for a long time still. Good. you can head around now thank you Francisco's got his work cut out because every like 20 minutes they come down the street and poof, there it all goes right back on the walk you got to keep up with it otherwise you're just not gonna you're not gonna be able to plow it anymore I'm gonna go plow one driveway that I know is really important right now oh man, nobody's getting down that driveway and then I'm gonna go get a snack coming down one of these side streets here to plow this driveway and the side streets are getting to the point where uh you might not be able to get down them with the car if you have a small car good luck the city's not be, not able to keep up with the side streets it's it's impossible uh oh i see the skid steers not moving and i oh no way He's got the skid loader wedged against the semi truck. Oh, he hit the semi truck. It's just not moving. Of course it's not moving. You're stuck against the semi. Don't try to come through here with the big skid steer. It barely fits already. Okay. The little skid loader can do it. Don't take any risks. Okay. Just stay in the open, stay away from the cars. Did it do any damage? No. Did you, you, 
a scratch. Right Snow plowing is easy money. Very easy. Oh, look at that snowman they built. Thing's like 12 feet tall. You guys probably can't see it. And I don't feel like getting out of the truck right now. All right, I helped Tino for a while. I gotta see where Francisco is. He's been on the sidewalks for a long time and he hasn't called me. So hopefully he's not stuck somewhere. Can't find Francisco. Francisco! <laughs> I wanted to talk to him. He drove right by me. Come on. Francisco's doing good on the sidewalks. I mean, he didn't fall and go into the marsh like I did. So that's good. Hey! Yeah. If you're gonna go down that way, make sure you cheat to this side. Because okay. that side is a yeah, drop that's off. That's what I Tino's gonna be coming over here in a little while too, but. Whenever you're done, you can start on the houses. Right. Whatever you could do. All right. If they're ever predicting a really, really big storm like this, I think I'm gonna bring one of the track machines out here too. I wish I had it here right now. Look at this big pile. He left right in the road. Come on, Francisco. Damn. Yeah, I love plowing snow. Just get this strip here and go over there because it's getting too thick over there. Okay. And this isn't that important. Gotcha. I'm going to get dinner. I'm going to go eat dinner. Okay, okay. I mean, he's over there doing sidewalks and he's going to help with the driveways. Don't tell me you got stuck right away. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no way. I just left five minutes ago. I know. I'm kind of stuck. Not stuck though, but I'm okay. Well, I'm just going to be there. All right, I'll be there in a little bit. I know. All right, bye. bye. I was trying to go get some dinner here. I knew, I think I said that earlier, that if I leave, I'm going to get a call right away to come back. Francisco stuck. It shouldn't be too bad. I can pull him out. Uh, where am I going to pull him out? Got mountains of snow everywhere. He said I'm a little, he said I'm a little bit stuck. Kind of stuck. Yeah, all right. I mean, it's not as bad as mine, but he's he's stuck, stuck. This is enough of getting stuck. I've never gotten this stuck. All the years I've plowed these places, it's never been this bad. I got a whole bed full of chains now tonight. <laughs> well, I'm just glad he didn't keep going because that would have been up. that would have been bad. Yeah, I wasn't gonna keep going. Yeah, man. Like when I'm plowing, if it starts to go like that, I always stop right yeah, away, like right here. away. If you gotta pull this out, if I'm not here, this is where you can hook it. Okay. Only on this side, not on that side. Okay. Yeah, because there's hydraulic it. hoses yeah, there. Yeah. Or you can go in the back, obviously, okay. too. I can't even explain to you how wet my feet are right now. With these tennis shoes on. I still got my tennis shoes on from my work clothes workout. Oh, the chain fell off. <laughs> I'm going and going and going and nothing. How'd you hook the chain up? I did, I did. Oh, man. <laughs> I did. I yeah, I could tell. I oh, hang on. Yeah, I was pulling. I was like, man, he's coming out really easy. It's like nothing. Try to wiggle out of there. I don't know. Yeah, I can do Maybe. Just try. Now, do I dare go to dinner? 
college guys are going back up to do the walks again. Probably not enjoying it. It's 5.37. I'm going to have some dinner here at B-52s. After dinner, I'll go back and see how the guys are doing. And then I might go try to get a little bit of a break. Sleep for a couple hours. I'm not sure about that. But I really should sleep because I'm going to come in with Eric at 2 a.m. And then we're going to be working until probably noon tomorrow. How's it going? Good. Good. I'll have a Mediterranean style salad, no olives. And you lost the pita again. I am. I lost 12 more, 12 pounds. I might just go up and down. It doesn't really make any difference. At least I don't keep going up forever, you know. Yep. Hey, you need to get out there and start shoveling. I slipped on the sidewalk. It's slippery. <laughs> you want a lawsuit? I lost it. I'm sorry. I could not stop laughing. He comes in the door. You know, just above the door oh, yeah. while the snow comes down. <laughs> it went down to the back. Right. <laughs> right on top of his head. Everywhere. I'm dying. Too bad you don't have security cameras, man. That would have been funny. <laughs> Salad. Oh, these are big dressings. I don't need that many. They're, these are huge. They're not as good as the other one. I'm hungry though. It doesn't matter. It'll taste good. Thank you. Junior style. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, when are you coming home? Why? Well, my car can't come up the driveway, so it's been sitting all since I came before. Uh, so There's like three shovels in the garage. Yeah, the snow is like super thick. Oh, come on. All right, we're going to go home because Junior Style is stuck. And I need to change my socks, put some dry clothes on. I actually just got the chills standing out here talking to my friend because I'm wet. <sighs> Ryan Jr. stuck. That's a lot of stuck tonight. I got stuck twice. Uh, Tino got stuck once. Francisco got stuck twice. And Eric got stuck once. He's not even in there. Where is he? Francisco! Hello! I wonder how long he's been stuck here. Because uh, when I left for dinner, he was just like 50 feet, 50 feet down the sidewalk. Oh yeah, he's stuck. He's in the mud. He is... See, I want to go home, but it's just, I don't know if it's a good idea. He's stuck again? I'm gonna go get Tino. I'm gonna use this machine to pull out the other machine with a chain. You're gonna have to move that snow over there. What's he doing? That's too much there. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it's gonna go right on the sidewalk and he's gonna be stuck again. Okay. Yeah. You gotta move that over there and then push that up there. Just keep going around through here. You can put the snow anywhere you can find a good spot. I gotta go get junior style unstuck now. Man, I am on my road by my house, and they didn't touch this road at all. They didn't even plow it once. That's crazy. I gotta plow it so my family and everybody can get out. I don't care. Brookfield wants to send me a ticket. Send me a ticket. Well, you know the ego is not gonna work on this stuff, so don't expect no review on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even taking that thing out. I gotta get my girls to get their cars out of the driveway too. Everybody's stuck right now in a foot of snow. Alright, Junior's unstuck. The Kia Souls is not the greatest in the snow. Now I gotta push past the girls' cars somehow. 
so they can get out of the driveway. Get that big monster truck out of the driveway. You guys got to brush your cars off. I'm not going to be around forever. <laughs> Autumn said, hopefully we'll have husbands by then. Man, this is really bad. This snow whoa, is deep. You don't have a brush? Dad wanted me to shovel all this. I was like, what? Oh, I'm saving this here for you to shovel. This little lump. Yeah, you wanted me to shovel. This is a lump. I need a brush. Yeah. A shovel? Well, I'm going to leave this here for you for tomorrow. Yeah, with your little snowblower. <laughs> oh, I fell down. <laughs> you have to learn. This is my best idea. <laughs> Autumn, just get the window so you can see. Who cares about the foot of snow on the top of the car? Back off, the eagle's coming through. Watch out, it's gonna throw 45 feet. Careful, Autumn. Back up a little more, you're only like 20. No, I got it yet. Stop. You're gonna go off the driveway! You're going off the driveway! Oh, now it's stuck. You're off the driveway. I gotta get my chain for the 16th time today. Well, I had to leave because my truck keeps dying and I don't know if it's running low on diesel or not. Still running on the way to the gas station. I don't think it's almost out of fuel. I mean, it is low, but I feel like uh, it has something to do with why it wouldn't start the other day. I think it's electronic. It's got to be some kind of sensor or something. That's why the truck's just shutting off like a switch. That doesn't make sense that it would be an injector or anything. Oh no. Uh oh. Right in the ditchy. It's a private plow truck, Birchwood. Right in the ditch. The good thing is, those guys have lots of resources, so. They'll have somebody out here to tow that thing out in no time. All right, it's pumping diesel. Yeah, there are no cars gonna get down these side roads unless you got four by four. There's no chance. All right, I'm back at home again. Put that through the around there now. All right, let's tow the key out. All right, let's try to get Hannah's car out now. This thing's stuck too. I am so sick of stuff being stuck. out of here. All right, 
everybody's unstuck from the driveway. That's it, I'm moving to Arizona. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That would have been number three right there. But I made a flailing save. Ooh. Look at my garbage cans, my poor garbage cans. Tomorrow morning is going to be interesting. Man. I'm going to back this out that way, then pull your car in next. All right, we're all in the driveway successfully, so that's good. I'm pulling this truck up enough in case it doesn't start. I can still get the other truck out. Whew. I got to lay down for a little while and get these wet socks off. Oh, hi, Annie. Oh, hi, Daniel. Hey, Daniel Top. I heard you drove the Bobcat right into the swamp.